am a millennial and I've noticed that my fellow millennials all wear a very similar color palette. That is black, white, beige or a sand type of color, maybe a bit of camel, and then blue, usually in the form of denim. Maybe there's like a few other colors that come in such as gray or an off-white, maybe even like a bit of a taupe. But in general, I see this color palette all the time. It got me thinking, why do we all have a very similar color palette and why is this the color palette that we all are drawn to? What are some of the reasons? And I think I've identified a few reasons. Of course, this is an opinion piece and I would love you um, to join me in the comments and tell me your opinion. We as millennials grew up with the birth of fast fashion meaning that we could buy clothing at a much lower price in comparison to generations before us. So we had access to a lot more clothing at lot, a lot of better prices, um, but also then very quickly started realizing the downside of this and realized that we don't keep pieces for as long or the fact that it is produced um, from a lower quality or of a lower quality rather, um, that it doesn't really last as long as our grandmother's blouse, right? She might have had, or a coat, she might have had that for how many years and decades where ours start to show wear and tear after, you know, one season or five seasons even. And we, and also in that same time, um, it was of course the birth of the internet and we all grew up with, um, or at least later on in our lives, depending on where you are um, as a millennial, you grew up with a cell phone in your hands and you had access to the internet. And globally, we became closer to one another. We saw what other people are doing um, in other countries and we weren't as focused in on our own way of living and our own trends, but we really started developing a global view and global trends. And that made it even more intimidating in a way to keep up with the trains because you didn't only care about perhaps what your school is wearing or what people are wearing at work, but you now know what people are wearing, you know, in a different continent. So we all started consuming more. There was definitely a bit of a global awareness of what was going on. Um, and we are definitely the first generation who grew up like this. So this definitely impacted um, the way that we dress and also the colors that we wear because um, we all, there's this sense of we all want to fit in, right? We all want to be part of, you know, the in crowd or you want to follow the trends and stay on top of it. So as a response to fast fashion, we went back to basics, trying our best to escape it in a way. We looked for simplified versions, dressing rules, classic styles and capsule wardrobes. We also have Pinterest boards full of aesthetics such as the French girl aesthetic or the old money aesthetic. This gave our closets structure and a limited color palette that allows us to mix and match. But I feel we all have the same inspiration boards that might not complement us as individuals because all of this inspiration might boil down to the same things such as the same color palette, the same styles and the same silhouettes and we all start looking kind of the same and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that but as I am approaching my 30s and also discovering a bit more of who I am and my personal taste and the things that I personally like and kind of realizing also what I want to leave behind in my 20s I realized that I really want to start focusing in on my true specific very individual personal style and I definitely um, have been in this place where I want to start including more color into my life um, through my clothing that I'm wearing <laughs> today um, I'm wearing the absence of color um, so I know it's it's ironic or it's funny that I'm not doing what I'm saying um, but I'm st starting with a blank canvas here and I started working with someone to really start understanding color theory and also doing a personal color analysis of myself um, to know what colors suit me well and I'm not as well versed in it yet um, as I want to be so I'm working towards that 
And I definitely also want to start including more colorful things um, and color theory and really legit advice on this channel but I don't want to start putting nonsense out there. So I won't start doing it until I am 100% certain um, that what I'm about to say is actually going to be worth your time and worth watching really. What I would like to know is, is do you have a lot of color confidence um, if you are a millennial? You don't also have, I mean, it doesn't only have to apply to millennials. Um, anyone watching really, do you have color confidence? Where do you get your inspiration from? Is it simply that you, you know, just keep pieces up to your face and you decide, oh, this looks good on me or um, I like it? Or do you look to a specific icon or someone that you really like or style who you admire and you kind of draw inspiration from that? I know that I've definitely worn colors that does not suit me well. I was definitely drawn to the colors that my mom looked good in and the colors that she wore. Um, and started including that into my own wardrobe, but then I looked washed out. I didn't look as fresh and rested and glowy as I wanted to be. Um, and I had to really unlearn that. And it wasn't a very easy process, if I have to admit that. When I did my color analysis with someone um, who I've known for, wow, I think like 10 or 15 years. Um, so she really understands my true coloring and she's got a very fine eye. Um, I was kind of surprised initially when she said like some of these colors really don't look good on you and I really needed to hear that and I then had to take a step back and really start looking at pictures and observing oh yeah it's like it's not bad it's not horrible it's not like oh you know I'm looking I, I you're ugly in it not at all but I can look so much better in another color um, anyway, so that is where I am at the moment when speaking about color and my own personal color journey. I definitely want to start including a little bit more colorful type of videos in this channel or on this channel. And I also want to start encouraging you to wear color because even though I've only dipped my toes in it and included a few colorful pieces that I know suit me well and that I now feel confident in, um, I've enjoyed wearing them so much. So I really want to encourage you to explore the same and not feel you have to kind of be confined to these um, millennial colors as I defined them in the beginning. Um, and even though that will remain probably, you know, a base for you, um, you can start introducing more colors into that color palette. And I think you will have really um, a lot of joy and fun doing that. One thing that I realized, because we all haven't practiced um, wearing color um, since we were, say, in our late teens, um, we might not have as much experience and we might make more mistakes now as adults, um, where I feel previous generations perhaps started experimenting from a very young age and they kind of figured out their own um, coloring and what looks good on them by a younger age, I think we might, if we start doing this of course, um, we might only discover our, you know, coloring and what, what, what looks based on us only later in our lives. Um, anyway, this is very interesting to me. Um, I'm loving looking at colors um, and the color wheel. I'm excited to see where this takes me um, and takes this channel. So. If you would like to see more from me, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you here and I will see you next week. Thank you everyone, bye.